I don't know if you can see it or not. There's another fire going up right here. I can't zoom when it's on portrait like this, but I wanted to make a video explaining why this kind of pisses me off. In my last video, I sounded like I was a little bit pissed off. There's another fire going up right there. Our world is burning up around us, and I seem to be the only one who sees it. Or at least, the only one talking about it on YouTube. And it's certainly not gonna be on the mainstream. And that's uh, part of what's pissing me off, is that uh, no one knows, no one cares. You know how you'd be able to make sh people know and be uh, have them talking about it? They used to put it on TV but they're not talking about it and they don't know because it's not on TV. It's just right out there in the regular three-dimensional world all around them. If it were on TV, then everyone would know and we'd talk about it and we'd find uh, more dimensions to the problem and possibly solutions or at least be able to discover the meaning of this and uh, the implications of this as our world burns up around us. It's not just my world. It's not my job. But I seem to be the only one documenting this plasma-fired wood. Again, I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, I think you can see it. Right. Right there, you see all that smoke in the air? That's another fire going up. That's not someone burning brush. That's a wildfire. What do you think the probabilities of that being caused by the plasma, the underground electricity? Now, there are people like Logic Before Authority who talks about the underground lightning. There are people who like James Grundvig who talk about field-activated combustion synthesis. Synthesis, it means it's fake, like made in a laboratory, like synthetic meat is fake meat. This isn't real combustion. This is synthesized. Like I've said, it's electricity that makes the wood sizzle to the point where there are no flames. That's why all the, the weeds remain standing. The electricity comes up through the wood. The weeds don't have roots that go down deep enough into the ground to draw the electricity like a conductor. The roots of the plants of the larger brush and trees act like a conductor, like a copper wire that draws that electricity. So I'm gonna pause this for a minute and get rolling and talk a little more about this because I talked a long time ago about how there would be a division between the no's and the no-nots, just as big between as there is, as we all know and are familiar with, about the division between the haves and the have-nots. It determines everything about your way of life, the air you breathe and the water you drink, how clean it is and the food you eat and the daily experience you have is hugely divided between the haves and the have-nots. We will come upon a day between the no's and the no-nots where there is such a division that creates such a difference in our daily life experience. And as I was saying when I was showing y'all that plasma-fired wood where I happen to be delivering, I found it everywhere. Arizona, uh, uh, Montana, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming and Colorado I haven't exactly documented yet, but next time I go through there, I'll just make sure and document some just to be able to add Wyoming and Colorado to the list. Because I guarantee it's all over there, just like it's all over everywhere else. But for some reason, I've even asked some of my viewers, anyone out there know of anyone else who's documenting the plasma-fired wood? I know some people have talked about directed energy weapons. I know some people show the melted aluminum and glass missing out of the cars. The wood is everywhere, and it's burned by electricity from the inside out, and the burn signature left behind looks nothing like wood that's been burned by fire. Why am I the only one noticing this? Because it's not on TV. And that's where everyone else is zoned into. If it happened on TV, everyone would know about it. But because it's not on TV, it's right out there in the real three-dimensional world, no one knows, no one gives a shit. So I'll talk a little bit more about this here in a second. I'm gonna get going. But just so you know, it's not theoretical, it's not hypothetical, it's not philosophical. This is the reality we're all living. Why am I the only one talking about it? Why am I the only one that can see this plasma-fired wood everywhere? Why am I the only one who considers myself the foremost leading expert plasmologist in the country? Because no one else fucking knows or cares. I'm not the only one who can see it. 
you have to be willfully ignorant. It, when I was getting pissed off at that last one because the lighting and shadow was making it difficult to see, and I said I'm getting pissed off because this is making it look like you have to look real close, and it's kind of hard to see. You don't have to look close. It's not hard to see. The only way you can not see it is to choose not to see. You're all Nazis <laughs> if you don't see it. So, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this. But I sure wish I wasn't the only no in a world of no nots while the world burns up around us because it's not just my world. And it sure would be nice to have some company with someone else who can see what's going on all around us as well. But even if I don't, I'll continue documenting and showing what I can see. But I've pretty much gotten over the plasma fired wood. It's everywhere. If you don't see it, wherever you're going, I can only document so many times before it feels like I'm just beating a dead horse and barking up the same tree over and over. But I think I'll have something else to say here in a minute. I'm going to put it in gear and get rolling. I have to wonder if this isn't a takeover. Whether it's by aliens taking over the planet or a hostile foreign power taking over the United States. They've demonstrated their ability to drop these directed energy weapons with pinpoint accuracy as I've demonstrated in the uh, Spanish Fork Bridge. By the way, I got some of those pieces of wood from that bridge in my backyard. I'll be demonstrating with some close-up uh, presentation. Bottom line is that bridge got hit 18 times with a directed energy weapon laser. Also, it seems there's a natural energy coming from the center of the earth. Or however it works, it's a valid question to ask, is this a hostile takeover? Where they've demonstrated their ability to take out massive areas, or burn your house and leave your neighbor's house standing, and then burn the house of the guy next door, and then leave the next one standing, and then burn the house next to that, and then leave the next one standing. It would appear that's what this is. So, what would have been done then through this demonstration, a show of force, is to show the governments of the world we got the power. We'll burn your house down. You know, like the three little pigs. Big Bad Wolf came along and showed he'll blow your house down. And he's got multiple different ways of directing this plasma energy. Whether coming up through the ground in the grounding wire of your house and burning it from the inside out so quick you won't even be able to get your family outside. There was a boat that burned up in California. Apparently it was hit with the same directed energy weapon lasers. 34 people died. And it burned so fast, only two or three of them got off. And it was like they got blown off. The whole thing got hit so hard so fast, it's like a few people got blown off because they were on the top deck. Anyway. So if that's what's happened, then the governments of the world have been told we're running the show. Just like after 9-11, Department of Homeland Security came into effect and went into the CIA, the DEA, the FBI. All of those got melded into one department called Department of Homeland Security. And the new bosses came in and said, guess what? We're taking over, bitch. You know what happened. You know those fucking buildings didn't fall. But the public's so dumbed down, we're going to tell them whatever we want. But you know we got the power and we're willing to use it. So Department of Homeland Security is your new boss. And if you got anything to say about it, you'll end up like Tom Daschle getting uh, anthrax mailed to your house. Or the guy that worked, Jones, who worked at the BYU. Professor Jones, I forget his first name. Looks like I got some black soot shit on my face. So after 9-11, they showed we got the power and we're willing to use it and you know we'll do anything. So you got something to say? You want to be a truth seeker? You want to be an architect, an engineer for 9-11 truth? We'll send some anthrax to your house. We'll send the DC sniper after you. We got other means and methods. But clearly, there's a new sheriff in town. And that's what's happened with these directed energy weapons. 
and the public is so dumb and docile, they'll believe a couple of planes took down three buildings, and then a little black spot in Shanksville, Pennsylvania represents an airline crash, even though the on-scene coroner said there's no bodies anywhere. Within the first five minutes, I realized there's no bodies anywhere, and that coroner, look it up, she saw a breakthrough of dimensions, and she saw Roman gladiators, like Roman on horseback, full regalia in armor, and like 15th century weaponry. Regardless of the vision she had, and the dimension that she saw through, she said there's no bodies here. I, ex I stopped being a coroner in the first five minutes on scene, because there's no bodies. And if you notice, there's no luggage. And if you notice, that wasn't a plane crash. But the public will believe whatever you tell them. So, like 9-11, these plasma fires have been used in the same fashion. New boss in town, bitches. We taken over. The public will believe whatever we tell them, and they're so docile and dumbed down, they don't even care whether or not two planes took down five buildings or a hole in the Pentagon punched three rings deep was caused by an aluminum can. Even though there's no video of any of it, they'll believe whatever we tell them, and they don't even ask questions anymore. They're so dumb. They're like sheep. They're like cattle. And there are cattle. We're taking over. <clears throat> and for those who are in control and who are awake and aware and operating the government agencies, they can see these plasma fires popping up everywhere. Last year, when these were happening all around Park City and all around everywhere, my stepdad watched one come out of the ground right in front of him. He was just driving along, saw a fire burst out of the ground in front of him, jumped out with a shovel and put it out. And his co-workers went to something like Toys R Us and got a little plastic fireman's hat and gave him a fireman's hat and said, Hi, here you go, Doug. Super Doug, you're the firefighter. <laughs> that was their way of coping with it because their mind knows something's happening here. It's like springs, like water springs, but these are fire springs and they spring right up out of the ground. Hold up, I gotta watch where I'm going for a second. They say knowledge is power. I don't feel any power. Clearly I have knowledge that others don't. They say, in the land of the blind, the man with one eye is king. Where's my crown? I found the contrary. The man with one eye is strung up from the nearest cross in the land of the blind because he says he can see something that everyone else can't. And in order to maintain their collective unity and power that exists within numbers, their safety and power in numbers, they got to get rid of this guy that says something contrary to what the rest of us see because he can see something we don't. So let's get rid of him. So yeah, I'm a little pissed. Not about the plasma fires. That whoever dumbed down this society has done so successfully to the point where fires could fall right down out of the sky and people would go about their day and pretend they don't see them. And it's not they've dumbed them down so much as they've discouraged them. They've beat them over the head. It's a form of mind control that has been done through something like Stockholm Syndrome. They've desensitized you to the beatings to the point where you pretend it doesn't hurt anymore. What do they call it? Uh, gaslighting. They punch you in the face enough times and pretend they didn't do it to the point where now you can get punched in the face and act like you didn't even feel it. Speaking of Stockholm Syndrome, the guy Derek Bros who runs Global Witness says time is short at the end of every one of his videos. And he says that he says that because it takes time to unravel the pack of lies that you've been woven in. The, tap the tapestry of falsehoods that your reality is made out of. 
and I've said something very similar, it takes time to develop this relationship with God. Otherwise, the closest thing you can have to a loving relationship with this God is something like Stockholm Syndrome, where you've been taken captive, you've been kidnapped, you've been taken hostage, and you pretend to love your captor, the person who took you hostage. Like a hooker pretends to love the pimp that beats her every day and sends her out on the street corner. Stockholm Syndrome. <clears throat> it takes time to learn to love this God and to know the truth about this God in order to develop anything greater than just Stockholm Syndrome where you pretend to love your captor because you feel powerless in their presence and you know that submission is your only choice. It takes time to know that this is a free will exercise and there are other choices and you don't have to submit. And to develop a relationship deeper than Stockholm Syndrome takes time, so time is short. Since I mentioned Stockholm Syndrome, I just thought I'd mention that and clarify. Sorry, I'm looking for my turn up here. We got we got traffic in Heber, Utah, way up in the middle of Heber, Utah. Anyway. So yeah, it's a little depressing. It's a little bit frustrating to see that no one knows and no one cares. And it's not a matter of, I'm so much smarter than them. <clears throat> I'm not. And I really don't have that much more courage, okay? There's plenty of people out there with just as much courage as me. But for whatever reason, they're blind. And I can see, and it's not some mental image that I'm picturing and conjuring in a concept that I can visualize. It's right there on the ground in front of everyone, every neighborhood, every state, every city I go to. And when I say... that I'm not surprised that governments aren't putting it on mainstream news because they can't stimulate you with the problem-reaction-solution Hegelian dialectic. Where they stimulate you with a problem, elicit the reaction, and then offer you the solution. If they could, they would. They tell you plasma fires are everywhere and it's part of global warming and you need to pay your carbon taxes and we'll save you! But they can't, and they know they can't, because they're not in control anymore. Otherwise, you'd be hearing about these plasma fires and how it's the greatest catastrophe since uh, uh, global warming hoax 